Printer Block is back. I don't want to bury the lead, so the TLDR, or technically I suppose DW. Uh, anyways, the point of this video is if you have already got Printer Block because you were a Kickstarter backer or because you purchased it afterwards on my website, you need to go back to 3dpprofessor.com slash shop and re-download the file. It's still going to say release two, but trust me, that's not accurate. It's technically release three. The files inside have changed and those files are so much better than they were before. And let me tell you a little bit about why. Have you ever, I, I don't know, just run into trouble doing something and just no matter what you do, it felt like the gears weren't interlocking and, and you weren't getting any movement or traction on what you were doing. And then you, you just put it aside and leave it alone. And then later you return to it and all of a sudden it's like the heavens open, the clouds part, and you're suddenly capable of doing what you weren't able to do before. It's like, it's like love. That's a really weird thing to say as soon as it came out of my mouth, I knew. But you know what, I'm gonna own it. I am in love with print block again. You know, not to like wax too poetic about it all, but I really feel that print block is important for 3D printing. This is, this is an amazing way to put production into the hands of the people who have 3D printers. And isn't that what we got into 3D printing for? Wasn't that the promise of 3D printing to, to democratize production, to democratize manufacturing? You can't buy these in a store. You can't manufacture these with traditional manufacturing methods. You have to make these with 3D printing. And darn it, if they're not just cool for it. So almost one year ago, like almost to the date, definitely to the month, I wrapped up the Printer Block Mex Kickstarter. I had developed these really cool little interlocking blocks that I call Printer Blocks. And then I ran a Kickstarter to make accessories for them that you could use to build really cool toys and mechs and cool little robots with them. I wrapped that up in March of 2020. And I think that you all remember March of 2020, especially if you're in America. But the thing is, while I, I did wrap up Printer Block Kickstarter at that time, I, I really wasn't done with it. Not to mention the fact that I knew that this was not the only thing that could be done with these blocks. These are just generic interlocking blocks. They could be used to build anything, but, but more than that, there was more I wanted to do with these sets. Like, for instance, I wanted to put together some smaller sets that were just the pieces necessary to make, like, one collection and sell those separately, but, I mean, I made a couple of them, but it never really went anywhere. I just kind of, I don't know, the wind went out of my sails, and I, I didn't want to keep working on this. You know, maybe that was just 2020 affecting me more than I want to admit, or maybe the timing just wasn't right for it. And then this little printer happened to me. This infinitesimally small toy box 3D printer. This 3D printer that wasn't supposed to impress me in any way, it got me back into printer block. Now this isn't a review for the Toy Box 3D printer, but suffice it to say, this 3D printer, despite its limitations, makes it so easy to 3D print that it actually becomes hard not to 3D print with this printer. And I thought, oh, I gotta get Printer Block on this platform. I even did some test prints on this printer just to prove that yeah, they'd work and they they interlock and attach and detach just fine, had to figure out the setting for them, but I was like, yes, I can do this. However, like I said, there were a couple of things about Printer Block that 
I, I just hadn't finished. One thing in particular, there was a pivot block that I used that wanted to take advantage of the unique internal geometry of the connection so that you could swivel your connections. But this, this piece required extremely precise measurements on your 3D printer. You had to be able to print with super precision for this thing to work. And it just it never felt right to me. So I went back to the drawing board and started playing with the idea of making a swivel block, a block with internal mechanisms that were not attached to the external mechanisms so that they could move and spin freely. And to my surprise, I managed to make that work a little bit faster than I expected. And it led me to making a whole series of swivel blocks. Okay, now I had a new swivel block that worked better than the old one, but uh, I needed to change all of the sets that were relying on the pivot block to use swivel blocks now. And you know, while I'm working on it, why don't I figure out a way to plate them so that you can print them easily instead of, you know, just me throwing a whole bunch of files at you and saying print 10 of these and five of these and six of these. Why don't I put them together on plates that you can just print three or four and, and have a whole mech that you can print. But then I had the problem of how big to make the plates. And of course, if I had done this before I ran into the toy box, I would have thought Ender 3, maybe maybe do it 100 by 100. Now the toy box has a build area of 75 millimeters by 75 millimeters by 75 millimeters, a little bit more than that, but that's the safe zone. That's tiny. That's really, really small. But I thought, you know what's cool about that? First of all, I could fit about oh, a dozen, maybe 14 printer blocks on that area with the connectors for them. But what's even cooler than that is that if you have an Ender 3 or a bigger 3D printer, you can print four plates at a time. So you could print the whole set at once. Although doing them small like that means that you almost instantly get color variation if all you do is just change colors between prints. So I spent a quite frankly obsessed week taking all of these mech sets that I made and plating them out so that you could 3D print them quickly and easily without having to muss or fuss with five of these and six of these and three of these. And in the process, I learned that some of the sets were super, super simple and only really took like two plates. And some of the sets were super complex, taking as many as six different plates to get the whole set with the variations that you could use on them. My other goal here was to use all of the pieces that I had designed in the plates, which meant I had to sometimes get a little creative and maybe some of them I just kind of threw in. Although I did include all battle damage panels on the tank. So the tank comes with battle damage and that's how I fit them in. In the end, these seven build sets had all of the print -a block mech pieces that I had designed in them. And I had done it. A new swivel block, new plated sets, new smaller sets that if you wanted, if you didn't want to buy the whole Kickstarter set at once, you could buy each one of these one at a time. And overall, the whole cost would be the same, but you know, you get a little bit at a time. And I'm able to launch them on the Toybox platform using their bit system. Thank you very much to my friends at Toybox for helping me get set up to do that. So yes, these are coming on Toybox as well. Now, if you were a backer, of the print -a block Mechs Kickstarter, or if you purchased the print -a block Mechs Kickstarter after the fact on my shop, then I wanted you to have all of these new accessories. You can now print these sets easier and faster, but as a backer or as somebody purchasing on the set, you also get the individual STLs for all of the files. So if you're like, eh, I just want to print one or two of these, hey, you can go do that. I'm giving you the power for being a purchaser and a Kickstarter backer, whereas the people who do it on Toybox, they'll just have to, you know, print the plates twice. It's not a big deal. They can do it, but I'm just saying, you guys as my backers, I got you. So like I said, I have taken and updated the files 
on my shop, go back, re-log in, re-download it, and you've got the new sets with new exciting builds and abilities to make printer blocks. And hopefully this will make it easier for you to make printer blocks and share them with your friends and family because all you have to do is just print off these plates and print off those plates and there's instructions on how to assemble them. I, I'm excited about this, but I'm not just excited for this because I feel like it's time. It's time to move printer block forward. And so the next Kickstarter is coming soon and the theme of that Kickstarter is going to be beasts. I've only modeled the one piece so far, but this will give you an idea of what we're looking at. And just, just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking of for scale, this is one of the heads that was included into Printer Block Mechs. There was a low poly bull head. This is the lion head. And you might notice they're not to scale for their actual real life counterparts, but that's because beasts, beasts are going to be bigger. Beasts are going to be larger and they're going to be more articulated. There's going to be more movement in the beasts than there were even in the mechs. In fact, the whole theme of the printer block beasts is going to be more, bigger, better than ever before. Like I said, I'm excited for what's to come and I hope that you are too. So I hope that you will go to the description, join my mailing list so that you can be the first to know when the new Kickstarter goes live. And it's it's gonna happen sooner than you think. It's gonna happen sooner than it probably should, but uh, the iron's hot. It's time to strike, I think. Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Making channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there.